and what we found was that what did we find <laughs> <laughs> but i found that you looked over here again so in today's video we're going to talk to you about why you might consider renting a property over buying a property So today, as you probably noticed from the introduction, I have my wife here, Rima, and we're gonna discuss with yourselves a little bit about why we chose to rent. Now, I think this will be really useful because we haven't just decided this, we've actually done both. So we've lived in a residential home and now we've also started renting. And hopefully maybe at the end of this video, we may convince yourselves that what you're doing right now may not actually be the best decision for your life or at least for your goals. So we're gonna start with the fascination around owning a home. Then we're gonna look at the pros and cons of owning your own home. And finally, why you might consider renting a home. So firstly, let's begin with the fascination of owning your own home. So I know as many people in the UK, we all have a fascination of owning our own home. So I think obviously growing up, you always think that once you get married, you're gonna buy a house, you're gonna have a nice car, you're gonna start a family. So I think for a lot of people, the first step in, in their journey um, is usually trying to buy a house. And obviously we ended up buying a four bedroom house. God knows why a four bedroom house, but we thought, actually it'll just be our forever home for if we started a family. It was also a new build as well, which yeah. I don't think I'd buy again, but that's no. a video for another day. Yeah. And just to add to that, I'd, I'd also say that yes, even for myself, owning my own home seemed like you know, the next big step. I just got myself a good job. I just graduated and it seemed that was the thing I was supposed to do. Teachers told me I should do it. Parents told me I should do it. So we basically went and did it, didn't we? Yeah. Right. However, we're now doing the complete opposite. And hopefully by the end of this video, you may even think differently too. But let's talk about the pros because there are some pros to owning a house, yep. but there's also some cons as well. But let's begin with the pros. So the first one is around design and it being your own home. Yes, so obviously, especially with the, with the new build, you get to choose obviously all your tiles, the color schemes in your house. And um, basically you can just make it your own. So I think that for us. All right. So I think that for us was um, obviously like many other people would find a, quite an exciting process. And even if it's not a new build, obviously yeah. you can buy something and when you know that you own it as opposed to renting, you can change the wallpapers. Well, if people have wallpapers nowadays. Paint you can, <laughs> yeah, you can paint different colors, you can change the carpet, you can maybe go for laminate flooring or wooden flooring. There is like so many endless possibilities in terms of what you can do with a house. Yeah. And you had a lot of ideas, I know when we bought our house, although we kind of got lazy and we didn't do anything, did we? Yeah, because we got tired. <laughs> <laughs> we got tired. Yeah, so we didn't really do much in our house. But again, that is definitely one of the pros. The next pro that's often spoken about is security. So a lot of people feel that if you have your own home, it it's something that it gives you that sense of security that a landlord won't just want to sell it tomorrow or kick you out for a new tenant. And I fully kind of, I kind of agree with that. But I'd also say though, if you don't keep up with your mortgage payments, your security is gone as well. So mm -hmm. it's kind of one of those things. Yes, you have a little bit more security than potentially a renting one because you're depending on another person there as well as the payments that you've got to make on a monthly basis. But still that element of security is really why I think a lot of people really want to own their own home. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? Anything to yeah, add? Yeah, just that and the fact that it's security. A lot of people want to um, have it as something to give to their kids later on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the third one is capital gains tax, which you're going to explain. Yeah, so obviously because it's a residential, um, when we bought the house and then sold it for more than what we bought it for, we didn't actually need to pay any sort of capital gains tax on it because it won't apply on a residential. So we've discussed some pros and there's probably some more that we missed out. So if you are a homeowner and you're fixated on owning your own residential home, maybe drop some in the comments below because we might have obviously missed them out and it could help some of the people watching this video. Let's talk about cons, you ready? Yeah. Okay, brilliant. We're gonna go with the cons of owning your own home. Okay, so the first one, at least for myself, from a property investor perspective, is that this was a pain me. I quickly realized that having a residential home, you're literally putting money into it almost every single month. And when something goes wrong with it, you have to, again, put money into it. And at the end of the month, when we looked at our balance sheets, our residential home wasn't bringing anything in. Whereas our investment homes, as we had, I think about three at that point, mm -hmm. they were actually bringing us money in. So I was trying to think, hold on, there's, there's something going on here. This is becoming more of an expense and actually, our house is supposed to be paying us. And the second disadvantage was that we had all this equity locked into this house that we weren't able to use. So obviously we, when you buy a residential, you'd put down a deposit. Now we had nearly 80,000 pounds in that house, just sitting there, Not we're not able to do nothing with it. Do, do it again, but nobody's here. Camera's <laughs> over there. No, it's all right, I don't know who you're looking at as well. <laughs> and just to kind of expand on that, 
The, the thing about having equity stuck into a house is you kind of need to understand that what's the opportunity cost of this. So for example, having 80,000 pounds in this house was brilliant because okay, it made our mortgage X amount of money. However, what we was then trying to think was, is there a way that maybe we can utilize this 80,000 pounds to generate more income to cover a payment like this. Now we expected our rent for a similar type of property to be slightly more than our mortgage. But then we thought, can we use this 80,000 of equity, for example, to maybe make this much? And this way, all of the properties we own are actually making us money, giving us the flexibility and freedom to rent. Which kind of moves us on to our final point. And this is the final point about why renting may actually be a great choice for yourselves. So one of the things we quickly realized was we were literally working around the clock 24 hours a day. Yeah, so um, like Aaron just said, we, were working basically around the clock we realized that actually we didn't have any free weekends or time with each other or seeing friends and family because we were just around the clock like a lot of people just working 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 um and actually how dare you to stop looking over here i dare you i don't know what you're doing <laughs> so just to add to that obviously like a lot of people who are working in nine to fives you, you just don't get a break from it and for us we actually wouldn't really see each other mm -hmm. would we mm -hmm. so um weekends were, were taken over we'd sacrifice a lot of time and what we found was that what did we find <laughs> <laughs> well i found that you looked over here again <laughs> What we found was that it was actually quite disheartening because at least from my perspective mm -hmm. we weren't hardly seeing each other and we thought okay there's got to be more to life 100 there's mm -hmm. got to be more to life so we thought what's our actual ultimate goal and this is where we're trying to head with this video our ultimate goal is time freedom right and i think a lot of people want this i think a lot of people mistake the fact that they want a lot of money but actually it's what it's money time. can give you yeah and i believe it, it's definitely time if you have enough money to cover your bills for example that that time and reassurance is a lot better than going on a shopping spree yes you might think going on a shopping spree initially is great but when you go on it that level of excitement dissipates very very quickly whereas that time freedom of dictating your day choosing how you spend it not having to ask your boss for like time off like how many yeah. times you've had to do that yeah yeah so we just obviously saved a lot of money worked really hard for five years sacrificed a lot during those five years and then like you said just invested that money into assets and property and obviously part of that process involved us selling our residential home mm -hmm. and and just to quickly add we're now renting and there are amazing landlords out there who will look after you and yes you might not be able to paint the walls a certain color but what we have is the flexibility now that we like to travel as you guys who may know us personally we've traveled to like god knows how many countries yeah. 30 40 countries whatever it is and sometimes we may just want to get up and go for like six months for example sometimes we may actually want to move to an area closer maybe where the schools are slightly better or just change your um, locations and renting gives you a lot more flexibility at mm. least we recognize yourself like your life in terms of when you had your brand new four bedroom house yeah. compared to now how different is it oh 100 percent different like so we've downsized from actually a four bedroom new built house to a two bedroom flat and honestly we've a hundred times happier here than we were back at that house because obviously our quality of living was just work 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 all the time living in a house that we were just never in yeah. so here it's like we've actually made this our home it's bigger as well it's, it's actually bigger <laughs> yeah. yeah it's actually much bigger and um, now obviously we work on our own terms. I mean, I only work one day a week as a pharmacist and that was just choice. Um, so it's just, yeah, much, much happier, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Much, much happier. <laughs> much, much happier. Love it. <laughs> Get rid of Proper the one. Get rid of Okay, so cool, should we end it there, yeah? Mm. Brilliant, so hopefully this video gives you guys a little bit of a different perspective. Again, if you want her back on the channel, make sure you drop it in the comments down below. I've had quite a few comments saying it's more fun when there's just somebody else other than myself speaking. And I oh, thank really? you. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> but you never come on, I always tell you this anyway. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for sticking around. If you found any of this useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you like any of the content that we're delivering. <laughs> Shameless plug, you've probably seen these all the way through. Get yourself a discount, link in the box. Uh, Link, link in the description. <laughs> there you go, link in the description. And now let's roll probably about 10 minutes of bloopers. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you. So, in today's video, we're going to talk to you about how. <laughs> go on, Dory. So, in today's video, we're going to talk to you today about why you might consider renting over buying a property. Say that again, but not today, twice yeah. in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> go ahead. 
What's going on, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Find Your Vote. This is not the podcast. <laughs> oh, okay. What's going on, people? My name is Aaron, aka The Anxious Investor, and welcome back to the property channel that offers you free property investment teachings. <laughs> and then finally, <laughs> to the camera, not, not me. No, no, I'm trying to think. Um, well, I've got... I prefer advantages and disadvantages. Okay, well, I can't change it now. I'm going to now. <laughs>